Hey guys, Johnny and Lawrence back to the next episode of Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode. Hello. So we have been busy in between episodes and after Jazar decided to blow up half our mob farm, we decided to upgrade. Or yeah. downgrade? I can't even tell. So we made the mob farm a lot smaller, or at least the core of it. We moved all of the barrels downstairs to make it a bit cleaner. And then we've also made four rooms. Yes. So if I go into this one. Yeah, so this <laughs> antlion spawner that Bye. we made. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we did also swap out the super fast vector plates or whatever they're called for fast because the the mobs just kept zooming straight past the mob crusher. Yeah. Mob mash. Kind, kind of insane. Yeah. But we have put down the antlion overlord spawner again. I don't know if you want to give that a flick. Yep. But it seems to work a lot better now. So we've made the rooms a little bit bigger. They're now uh, 11 by 11, I think. Um, and also they're 11 by 11 by 11, actually, I think. And there we go. We do get this issue sometimes, but we have had this running for a little bit. And we seem to have enough of the soul crystals, I think, for the rest of the playthrough. But we're going to leave that there for now. The reason we've done four is in case we want to put other spawners out concurrently or later on when we get into the mob duplicator. Yep. Yeah. But I think that's, that's pretty much it down here. We've also been busy over in our farming dimension. Uh, did you turn that back off? <laughs> uh, no, I've just done it no. now. Okay. But it turns out having other uh, ant lion overlords spawn pushes that other one away. Oh, that is actually quite handy. Although, I think we've got a reasonable amount of the soul crystals now, so hopefully yes. it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But all of those seeds we made last episode, we have now 10 10 10 them all, and they're all over in our barrels. Barrel void drawers. Void. And voided, yes. yes. Cause, although we have fixed any issues with the mob farm at least now, so anything that doesn't have a barrel to go into does go into the system, so we should never lag out the server again, hopefully. <laughs> but... Today we want to do a couple of things. So one of the we need we wanted end dragon eggs, well dragon eggs, yes. for to ignore the spawn conditions for those spawners. Um and annoyingly to spawn end dragons, unsurprisingly, you need the end crystals and they are expensive. Well, they're not that expensive, but they do use this lunar dust. And we don't have a good way of getting this at the moment, short of going to the nether and mining it. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. It really is. So we noticed that you can use the resonator from Extra Utilities 2. And we've not done any Extra Utilities yet, so I think we should make that. Yeah, sounds good. I think that sounds like a good idea anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so it's quite easy. And I think we should just have all the stuff in the system. That is, that is a resonator. And I think you even <laughs> said we have a platform. Well, I was just going to check it on our random enchanting god knows yeah. what platform. It's a reasonably random platform. So this whole mod's powered by like GP and you can do water mills and stuff like that. But because we've got dragon eggs, kind of fancy just jumping straight to dragon eggs. Oh, you can't. I never realized that it uses stone burnt. So we are going to uh, have to make the manual mill. Oh, that's annoying. It's, um, hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Do you want to get some of the stuff for stone belt burn? I think it's polished stone. Yep. Actually, it turns out I'm going to need some anyway. So I've just made some. But we don't have a lot, so it would be good to get some more. Okay. Do we seriously have none of this stuff? Redstone torch. There we go. Let's make a stack. That'll be that sorted for the foreseeable future, hopefully. And manual mill. So you don't want to use the manual mill for any longer than you need to pretty much because you literally just have to stand here and right click. Well, I say stand here and right click. You can just right click once and then it will keep going, which is oh, quite okay. nice. So you don't have to keep holding it. But uh, we're going to get our first few bits of stone burn and then make the dragon mill. Sounds good. So we got our first few pieces of stone burn and I should have everything else. We just need to make the eye of redstone, which pretty easy to be honest and then we will never have to use the manual mill ever again yay so the dragon egg mill is pretty crazy i think like water wheels at uh, water mills the most you can get is 16 gp whereas a, 
dragon mill, you literally just stick a dragon egg on the top and it gives you 500 GP. Nice. <laughs> so now that'll make the rest of our GP all on its own. I oh. just destroyed the base. Ah. Oh, well. You, this pickaxe is so fast. You should probably mention, well, you forgot, the GP isn't currently shared between players. Oh, is it not? No. So you have 500 GP. 500 GP. Uh, I have none. Well, I have just put another four stone burn in the system if you want to make your own dragon mill. Okay. And that'll be that problem solved. But for the resonator, it's it's pretty slow, as you can see, and you do get speed upgrades and extra utilities, so I think we should make a bunch of them. Yeah. So for the tier one, do you keep crafting stuff? I'm getting like crazy mm, lag space. I had to craft something there. Yeah. Stop doing that. <laughs> I was doing the dragon mill. Oh, okay. Like that's you told fair. me to. That's fair. Uh, I'll give you that. So the upgrade speed one, sorry, the base tier only stack up to four. Then the next upgrade stacks up to 16. And the final tier upgrades to stacks up to 64. So we kind of want to go all the way to the top tier. So the first ones are just made with weighted, sorry, yeah, weighted pressure plates. And that's for the upgrade base. Then it's a block of redstone and some gold. All pretty easy stuff. Yeah, nice so and simple. We're going to sit here and and get a few of these and do the tier 1 upgrades. Um, then for the tier 2, we're going to need some magical apples and enchanting, bleh, enchanted ingots. And the easiest way probably to do that is to get an enchanter. Which also looks reasonably easy if I've read it properly. Maybe. So maybe. Maybe not. No, I didn't look at it properly at all. <laughs> I, there, There is this thing called a machine block in the middle, and it's pretty much all stuff we haven't done. Oh, um, okay. I think it's all stuff we can do. Ender crystal, elven quartz, ender crystal, energized silicon chip. That's just andesite. Oh, what was that thing in the middle? Glowing silicon compound. Silicon, silicon bomb. This is a huge rabbit hole, but it does all look like stuff we can do. I've not seen any big gotchas, so we may go ahead and quickly craft, do all the micro crafting for this thing, and then come back once we've got it. Oh, hyper diamond. Created by putting graphite dust into an explosion. Okay, yeah, we can do all this stuff. So we'll put, get this together and come back when we can make our enchanter. Ooh, looks like we have all this stuff now. That is a lot of crazy crafting. Ouch. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of crazy crafting. With some injuries, actually. Lawrence. Yes. <laughs> we have accidentally sacrificed his dank knoll during the explosion. Don't don't trust me with TNT. And we'll just randomly blow up stuff. Yeah, but uh, on the upside, I think we're way past caring about any of the resources that we would have had in there. Yeah, I think it was pretty much just some cobble and stuff like uh, um, diorite and stuff like that. So yeah. Nothing particularly useful. But we do now have an enchanter, which is pretty awesome. I mean, Yay. and we have a stack of upgrade bases because of how long that took. So <laughs> that's, that's even better. Um, but for the first upgrades, we're going to want some magical apples. So do you want to get a bunch of apples and a bunch of lapis? Yeah, uh, yes. Um, there are some apples I made earlier. <laughs> yeah, we should we should probably hook them up at some point, actually. Yeah. Uh, how many do you need? Like, a stack? Two? Oh my god, we ran out of redstone blocks. Ooh. What? That's fine. I could just probably make, like, a stack. There's fine. Um, how much do we need? We probably want a lot. Because we want to make as many of these upgrades as we can. I would say. Okay. Uh, I've got a lot. You have a lot. That is good. Well, if, why isn't it working? Probably because it needs, it needs RF. RF as well. well. I thought this would... Oh, this also needs bootcases. Does it? I forgot about that. No. Yeah. Oh my god, this pickaxe is crazy. <laughs> um, easiest way for that, I feel, would be... Check it out. Yep. <laughs> You can also use magical wood, but uh, who's got the time? Do you have a spectral coil or that? I do not have one on me. Oh, okay. I thought that's what you were grabbing. My bad. Um, did I pick up the apples or did you? Oh, they're, they're still in there. No, oh, I, I put another stack in. I had oh, okay. a lot. Well, we don't have very fast speed upgrades just now, but we can put in oh, the okay. four that we do have. It does and 16 at a time. It does six. Okay. Well, that's actually pretty good. 
We now need some of the enchanted ingots, so that's just some gold. Do you have that, or you want me to grab that? If you grab that. Cool, let me get a stack of gold, chuck that in there. And you want to chuck... Why did that stop working? Oh, the lapis came out. Yep. Um, do you want to chuck them in the system? Yep. Oh, that only does two at a time. Well, that's not as nice. No. And also my PC's lagging. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, we need four per upgrade. So we're going to need four stacks of gold. <laughs> that's not too bad. No. Let, let us go and make a bunch of these upgrades and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so for the top tier, the ultimate tier, we need some of these evil infused ingots. So that's just some iron and nether stars. So should be able to chuck those in there. Don't know how fast it will be, but pretty slow. A lot slower than I expected, but it does do oh, eight at a time. So that's nice. And that means rather than only being able to stack to 16, you'll see we can't put any more in there. This will let us stack all the way up to 64. So let us make a bunch of these, <laughs> these even, and we'll be back in a sec. So I'm not actually familiar enough with the mechanics of the like efficiency loss, so I can't actually get like a full stack to work for this recipe, but we can get 36, which is reasonably fast. So we should be able to just like hook that up to applied energistics. So I'll plunk down an interface and make a recipe for it, and we should be able to automate the crafting of this lunar dust. So it looks like the recipe's set up and working fine. So I've just tried to craft a thousand of it. It just pumps in out the interface and then we've just got an import bus underneath pulling it straight back in. So we can actually kick off some end crystals. And the whole reason, I don't even know if we said it at the start, was because we wanted to get some more green hearts. Yes. I, no, yeah, that's the reason why we wanted to do this. Um, so that with it... The only boss that we found that drops the green hearts is the Ender Dragon. And mm. rather than us going and spending lots of time trying <laughs> to kill him, and whilst not dying, but it's it's a long and tedious process. So we figured we would try rooting it instead. And it just means we can auto craft the Ender Crystal thingamabobs. Yes. Although we did just run out of Carmenite, so I can't request Ooh. too many. But on the upside. I did a clever thing long, long time ago and captured one of the torchwood borers. So I can just make a recipe to make us some more carmenite. Nice. And that is that problem solved. So we're just gonna leave this running in the background, but I think Lawrence is wanting to get into some more mechanism. Yes. Um mainly because you keep complaining about how slow the it mechanism is. So bad. It is pretty slow. Look. I had to wait on four... Actually, you know what? I never even made the thing in the end because it took so long for the basic circuits. So... I, it's bad. Yeah, <laughs> it is quite bad. Um, at the minute, there are two ways we can upgrade the speed of the mechanism setup. I think um, we should go for both. We, well, yeah, we're definitely going to go for both. But at the moment, the f easiest way I can see is to make these speed and energy upgrades. Now, each uh, machine can take 10 of them. And they're really quite easy to craft. The only thing that's annoying is they both use the enriched alloy. So the enriched? Oh, which yeah. you need to. Yeah, we need capacitors for. That's um, fine. That's all. I keep thinking goes. that's iron for them. I was looking at them earlier and going, "Yeah, that's fine. They're quite cheap. <laughs> they're not." But the other way we can do it is by using turning each one of these into a factory. So mm. at the moment, each one only has one input slot and one output slot. When you upgrade them to a factory, they have more. I think it's like three for the first one. Yeah, but these okay. recipes are quite cheap at the moment. I say quite cheap. They use melodic um, ingots, but we have quite a lot of them on stock at the moment. And some basic control circuits, which, Thanks. to be honest, we've already crafted. So I'm just going to make four of these because we have four machines. We maybe should have made a buttload of those beforehand. <laughs> I never thought to do that. Made the basic machine things. Oh, okay. But if you right click uh, the basic tier installer onto the infusers, it will turn them into an infusion factory, which nice. just means the. So, yeah, you can see the layout's changed slightly and it now has three slots. Um, awesome. I do believe it does get rid of the side convicts and everything. So, we're just going to have a quick check and tweak them. Oh, I don't know, because it was still filling up with redstone automatically, the far left one. Oh, yeah. I think the second one isn't good. doing carbon, though. 
Um, I think that's because it was an autocraft thing and we decided to take that off because it was causing so much lag. Oh, yep. I have no idea. And why. diamond. So carbon and diamond will do manually later. But oh, wait, no, it should be good. Sorry, we will go check the configs. <laughs> So it was totally working. It was just filling up all the redstone first, it turns out. <laughs> yeah. We should maybe change that to round robin just so that sort of thing doesn't happen. Probably. Let me do um, that. But you uh, carry on. Yes. So the next, there are four tiers of factories, essentially, and each one gives you more slots that you can use for crafting. So the next one I'm going to make is the advanced tier. This one is actually really quite simple because we've already made quite a lot of progress in blood magic. So yes. all we need to do is chuck the basic tier installers into the blood altar and it will make it done for us. So if I just craft four more of these. One. I should probably say as well, I did actually put the end dragon back in wood now that we have a kind of renewable source of end crystals. So we yeah. should be getting some dragon <laughs> eggs now and we're already at six. Nice. Which is nice. So I've come up to Blood Magic. I'm just going to pop these down. These really, they don't take a lot of, they take 300 life points. So it's pretty much instant, which is quite nice. Well, um, which is actually quite a really, really silly amount. It's like <laughs> basically nothing. Well, we've never really actually automated the like process of getting that stuff. No, it's something we should look at, it, but for the time being, it's... We've got blend me. Yeah. Um, so again, just going to right click these onto the basic factories and that will turn them into the advanced ones, which gives you five slots. And annoyingly, I think that's still the top tier, isn't it? I don't think no. we ever implemented oh. ultimate. They, we've got elite and there is a recipe for the ultimate. So I don't know if there is or not, but. Uh, okay. I didn't realize there was another two. Yes, there is another two. Let me go sleep. It's pretty dark. It is pretty dark. Um, what I'm going to do very quickly is just uh, try changing some of the patterns. Um, so we basically make more in each factory at a time, rather than having to wait for each one, if that makes sense. Not really, because surely if we request like 20 of a thing, it'll just chuck it all in anyway. Oh yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> um, I get what you mean, but I think it should just work fine anyway. For the elite ones, we need some reinforced alloys and some elite control circuits. So I'm going to need 16 reinforced alloy and 8 control circuits. Yeah, it's going to take a minute, isn't it? Yeah. So, okay, okay, shall we go work on that and come oh, back in a sec? We actually we don't have autograph recipes for those. No. But yeah, we will make these and then we'll come back. Cool. Hey guys, I'm over in the end at the moment because like we were saying, we were getting that lunar dust so we can make more end crystals to get more dragon spawns so that we could get green hearts so we can make the green heart canisters. Just a little convoluted. Yeah, but we also need shulker shells. So I'm just over here to find a shulker. I'm going to whack with my wood thing and then just kill him. And we're going to use that for getting our shulker, shell shulker shells, hopefully. Nice and we should be able to do all of the... 20 heart canisters for the both of us. Yay. I'll see you back in the overworld. So we've already got, I think, over 30 shulker shells, and it's only been in the system for like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Um, but there is now 10. I, I've just made an autocraft for the green heart canister, so you should be able to get yours out the system as well, Lawrence. Ooh. And I have no idea what color your hearts are going to be, but definitely higher than mine's. Probably. <laughs> I'm up to pink, it looks Ooh. like. Uh, I forgot that taking it off damages you. It damages uh, you? It just, yeah. I know it takes your health away. I didn't know it damaged you. Uh, I never even noticed. And I don't know if my health is regening. I might need to eat. Oh no, I've got carrot. up to a different shade of pink. Pink gets over in with lighter pink. <laughs> uh, okay, mine's like a weird yellowy color. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Interesting. What happens if I eat a carrot just to make sure that I regen? No, it's stay in that color. Uh, okay, so you're on yellow. But one of the other things we want to do this episode is Lawrence has kicked off some of the crafting for those upgrades, but we kind of want to do a bit of a cleanup. So we've got most of the first page done. We can't do the blue heart canister. Actually, maybe, maybe we can, could. Can we do the blue heart canisters? I don't know. Do we have any blue hearts? I think we do. We have 104k blue <laughs> hearts. Okay. Yeah. Let's... Uh, Let's see, because it uses these totems of undying, and... <laughs> we have a lot of them. Remember I left that in Woot for, like, a long time? Yeah. So I think we might be able to jump to 
blue hearts? I didn't even check. I just assumed it was some other crazy mob we would have to take on. That's quite nice, though. But if I hold my sword, I actually get, like, a nice light blue. And then an even lighter blue. That's oh. It's insane how much help I have. Yeah, that's I'm wondering nice. if I have more than Jazar. Uh, I, I think he'd still one-hit you. He um, probably still would. But, uh... We can actually make the blue hearts, and you'll love the reason why. Why? Because we don't have enough green hearts. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to put the end dragon back in Woot. Uh, no, I'm not, because I don't know where he is. Oh, no, he's here. He's the one in my inventory, unsurprisingly. Um, and we're just going to have to wait on getting a couple more green hearts. But like I was saying, one of the things we want to do this episode is just tidy up a few of the quests. So... We've got everything in here except from Carrot. We will have blue hearts probably this episode now. And furnace upgrades we just can't do because we need the ultimate ingot to finish this. That's going to be a minute. That's that's going to be a, a long just minute. Like <laughs> next, next episode, it'll be fine. Maybe next episode. But uh, we can do Carrot. So I've put together, I think, all the stuff to make all of these carrots. We have been using the carrots throughout this playthrough, but specifically just gold one yes and that's because it's really good for saturation it is really good for saturation but how these work is you pretty much place them down on ores and they give you different things so the basic ones go on dirt then coal iron gold redstone lapis emerald diamond and nether quartz and then their upgraded counterparts go on a block of coal block of iron block blah, block of gold block of redstone lapis emerald diamond nether quartz that was a mouthful. Done? <laughs> I think I'm done. I oh, think nice. I think I am done. Um, but I, I may have laid these all out so it would go a little bit quicker. Yeah, that, that did seem to go quite quicker. One thing I did forget, actually, we did as well. When we were making all the seeds, we did make the top tier Supremium watering can. So Ooh. you barely water all of these at once. Um, for some reason, some of these aren't growing. Yeah. Not sure. Oh, wow, they're just slow, which surprises me considering oh, nice. I've got astral growth speed, I've got the bone mealer, like, totem. But there's a few effects in play. Yeah, but there's a couple of these that just don't want to grow. I don't know, like, does that need to be grown in the nether or something? Oh, I don't think so. No. Nah. Maybe if you come stand is... here and oh, we get, like, it's... double the bone mealer. Yeah, it's, you just, know what? it's going now. You know what? Why am I saying we can, we've can? we got the bone mealer effect when... We Rachel have bone Lanko. meal. <laughs> oh, okay, I was going to say. <laughs> I can just bone meal these to fully grow them. That also works. Yeah. So you should be able to just go over and smash all of these. I uh, probably don't even have the inventory space for it, but it's <laughs> fine. Who needs space? I need space. But uh, you'll notice one, one kind of bad thing is the base tier ones, they actually turn all the ores back into stone. Yeah. Which is pretty annoying. Which is weird, because the upgraded ones do not... They keep the, like, blocks. But there is some interesting ones in here. So you've got regeneration. I didn't realize... Oh, that's that's only short. It's only for two minutes. We don't want that. Yeah. There's haste, fire resistance, night vision, more haste, speed. Water breathing could be handy sometimes. Ooh. Um, th this one's not bad as well. Resistance, strength, health boost, and regeneration. But only for 30 seconds. Yeah. Oh, no, it's that... Yeah, no saturation. But no, a lot of these are quite interesting, I think. Yeah, but... The, w but I missed one. Oh, this... You missed one? This one wasn't fully grown, I guess. Oh. What's weird is... Actually, look at the... Let's see the quest book again. It says I've got 13... Per, oh, no, it's a 13% carrot. I thought it said I'd, like, got 13% of the quest completion. I was like... That's not a lot. 13% would be, like, one carrot. Yeah. So that's done now. I was thinking it's weird the nether quartz ore didn't like turn. But there we go. We got that quest now. Yay. And we should have got the second one as well? No. No, because oh. we need the 36 carrot. How do we make the 36 carrot? With pretty much all the carrots we just made. So yeah. I don't know if I should have made more of them. No, we, we got enough. Yeah, so long as you've got enough to make one, it's fine. I know. It's just a crafting component. I mean, we don't need it. Um, and then for the final one, it's the withered carrot. So this mm. actually prevents you getting the wither effect. Oh. Which is, that actually could be handy. Oh yeah, for when we're facing the wither. We, yeah, I suppose we've kind of missed the window on the usefulness of that yeah. carrot. 
it would be good against... Uh, there is something that keeps giving me wither. I can't remember what would be an attack in the... It's me. I <clears> keep hitting no, him. No. Not you. There was a mob. Was it maybe in the Abyssal Craft kept giving me wither a lot like, maybe, all the time? Probably. I can't remember. But that's looking pretty nice. That's almost this whole first page. Let's see how we're getting on with <laughs> green hearts. We have 10. We have so 10. We... A little bit longer. You know what? Just so we get the quest complete, let's make our 10 blue hearts and you can have the first ones. Yay. How is that? I can see what color my health bar goes. Well, that's kind of one thing. Your color is going to be more interesting than mine. They're in the system if you want to grab them. Oh, okay. Uh, I did not know you. I mean, it's like an instant craft. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've got all this stuff. Uh, 10 heart canisters. So let me just grab my ones. Oh, quest complete. I mean, even without the heart canister equipped, I'm already at yellow orange. Oops. That's quite it. I go down to red. You go down to <laughs> red. Wow. Yeah, I should maybe redo my astral at some maybe. point. So if I pop those on, I jump straight back up to the same blue color. Uh, if I hold my sword, just get it's, that regen in. Yeah, it takes a second. But, uh, well, you're looking uh, at that. Okay. It, it looks like it's just white. White is, white sounds good. That sounds pretty high up. Yeah, I mean, am I, am I going to go over white or is it just going to give up? Oh, I've, no, you I've, went beyond white. I am now orange. Which nice. Is, how much health does it say I have? Uh, you have 243 hearts. Oh, that's... So I can't even one-shot you. What? This that's... is only meant to do 100 damage. It got you down to... Oh, it's 100 hearts, not 100 damage. Because every oh, okay. one health is two... Sorry, one heart is two health, isn't it? Yes. Because you can have half a heart. Hmm, interesting. Hurt. <laughs> I'm sorry. At least it didn't kill you. True. But if we jump back to the quest book, we can see... Like, Delta's looking pretty good. Delta is looking pretty good. I'm happy with this. There's a couple of seeds we're missing. Elementium, we could probably do quite quickly. And refined glowstone? Um, possibly. Refined obsidian? I think they're... I, well, they're all things we'll be kind of doing with mechanism anyway, I think. Yes. Um, yeah, that's something we can do with mechanism later. I'm just looking at this recipe and going, it needs enriched alloys and stuff. Okay. Which is currently all being auto-crafted for the elite controllers. Well... There is a few things in... I, I think we can comfortably finish Epsilon. I mean, these are all stuff that we're never going to use. So yeah. I think we should just smash out the crap. We'll be crafting stuff and then just putting it in the system. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, there's a lot of stuff in this craft. Ooh. I don't know if I want to do that. That's so That's, easy. That looks easy. Yeah, that looks really easy, actually. Let us uh, grab all the stuff for that. Unless, is your mechanism recipe still going, or is it I'm finished? Pr I'm pretty sure it's still going. It's still going. We are making a lot of capacitor. Yes. So I'm, we're going to go ahead and gra uh, craft all the magnetic craft stuff and see if we can complete that page. So, guys, we have completed Epsilon. Yay. But my curiosity is getting the better of me, and the other stuff in magnetic craft looks quite cool. So yes. I kind of want to see what this crusher looks like. Um, maybe? Mm. If I can figure out how to build it. I think it's just a lot of machine blocks. Oh, okay. One in the middle as well, maybe? Yeah, and then, wrong. thankfully you have about a thousand or something ridiculous of I these in the system. I have did. no idea why you oh, made so many. Oh, because they were all part of the um, shelves. What's that thing in the middle? I don't have that thing. I, I grabbed everything for the quest. What I just is... assumed... Do you want to grab whatever that is? Yeah. Uh, I will finish placing down the last couple of bits. I won't say I can't tell what that is. Well, I thought you were the magnetic craft expert. So oh, yeah. I totally know what am I meant to know? Uh, that looks like copper coil. <laughs> could be a copper coil. It, I mean, it tells you if you're wrong, does it not? Yeah, it does. Could, does tell you if you're wrong uh, and this must be the corrugated iron goes here i wonder if this is faster than the immersive engineering one i just realized it, that it wouldn't take there. much and you cannot get in have you got it yes i have just need a way in it's in the top oh, in the i top. made a, i made an entry for you and there you go. should be block. two more machine blocks i think mm. and then I oh wow yep yeah. that that did a thing that, that does look quite nice actually that does look quite nice. Whether or not we use it, I'd be tempted to leave it here. Yep. <laughs> I don't know how to use it. It doesn't injure you like the um, the immersive I mean, engineer one. That's that quite is nice. One bonus. 
I don't know if it's got much use. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Nope. Is it not called the Crusher? I could have sworn it, is, it yeah. said it was called the Crusher. Uh, but the blueprint is not called the Crusher. Or if it, oh, it's Grinder. Grinder. Uh, okay, you just so agreed you chuck, with me. Have you chucked some ore in? Oh, uh, looks like. No, I thought you could maybe double stuff. Yeah, it looks like you can chuck ore in. Uh, that's kind of interesting, I suppose. Yeah. But uh, we'll probably never use it, but I like the look of it. <laughs> so maybe in another playthrough, like early on, that would be something Maybe something I'd, we would look at. Yeah, our quest or, questing order has been a bit all over the place in this. I mean, order. like, if you look at the quest book now, the first, out of the first five, we've done the first three. That's not bad. Yeah, okay. I'm going to skip immersive engineering for now. Yeah, it's, there's uh, a lot that we need to do in that, apparently. It is a lot. I mean, there's some really silly ones that we just don't have. Like, I feel like Stellar Alloy, we've made. We've just never picked up. Oh, okay. I may be wrong, but I Maybe. feel like that is the case. So, should we work on some of the Ender I.O. stuff? Yeah, let's make a start on that. Cool. Um, let's see then. I think the Crystalline Pink Slime, the Stellar Alloy. Let's get the Sterling Generator, the Vat... The enhanced combustion generator. Let, let's go ahead and craft some of this stuff and we'll put it down and maybe look at automating some of it. Yep. Hi guys. So after a little while, we've <laughs> finally got enough of the reinforced alloys and the uh, elite control circuits to make yes. the factory installers. Um, Even with four in power, it still takes a minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we might need to have a look at how we make um, capacitors because that seems to be was holding us back we don't need to make them that often anymore or True. emc soon emc Next soon hopefully it's fine but um i'm just gonna make one of the elite controllers and one of the ultimate tier um and then from there we'll i'll upgrade the rest of them off camera so i've you... made two elite ones and then it's really really hard to upgrade from the elite to the ultimate all you need to do is just chuck it in the blood altar oh okay and that's only so serious for a second <laughs> It's instant. It's honestly, it's, it's a, the it's easiest one out of the wall. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to be fair, only... well, do you need like a tier five blood oil or something? Oh, uh, yeah, you do. But yeah, once it's not that up, easy but... then. Um, but yeah, so again, like how do you do? You just right click that. So the old, the elite infusing factory has seven slots. That's starting to look a little bit nicer. Yeah, and I don't know if they've actually implemented this or not. No, they haven't. So they made you, they want to, they've given you a recipe for the ultimate tier installer for no reason. So yeah, I, I'm yeah. not sure what that's for then. Uh, is it used in uh, something else? Maybe there's no, another machine that no accepts uses. it. So it's, it's just going in the system. Yeah, that works. Well, to be fair, that's been what I've been kind of hard at work at. So... I was having a look through the Ender I.O. and there's quite a few quests we were able to tick off. So we've made all the, the simple generators. I have to admit, I don't think we're going to be using any of those because we have the... Yellorium. The yellow, Not that. The big reactor. Yeah, yeah big reactor. Yellorium. But you know what I mean. Um, we have went ahead and made the Stellar Alloy, which has allowed us to make the Stellar Capacitor. And because we got some shulker boxes... Uncoincidentally, like that was sorry, just coincidentally even that was quite lucky. Um, we can make them. We also managed to make the totemic capacitor because we thankfully had went and killed a load of evokers and put them in wood. Yep. Um, the crystalline pink slime one. We will need to get into a bit of industrial for going, or we could use the ingot former from nuclear craft. But no, sorry, we do need to get into this machine the fluid saving machine from industrial for going we do have a huge supply of pink slime so we just need to run it through that machine did all the capacitor banks and the only other thing we can't do is the dimensional transceiver probably Damn. the most useful thing on the page but that's holding us back by the crystalline pink slime so it's really just one industrial for going machine away and then we'll be able to complete all of ender IO, ender IO in the quest book which nice. I'm pretty happy with. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that indeed. And this is starting to look nice. There's quite a few green ticks down the side of the page getting. So I, I'm liking that. So I think that's probably a good place to wrap up this episode. I think next time we're going to actually get a bit further into mechanism. We're going to probably queue up a bunch of those capacitors and stuff so that we're not sitting around waiting. And 
I think with the aim of maybe being able to make the machine blueprint for the laser cutter, because that will allow us to make some of the Galacticraft um, items a bit easier, and we can start exploring space. Yeah. That'll be pretty nice, I think. I want to go to space. Space! Uh, that was meant to sound like Wheatley, and it did not that, at no. all. It it's was a, terrible. It's not Wheatley that says that. It's one of the corrupt ones. You should know this. No, it's not. It's Wheatley. Oh. No, I'm pretty sure he does it. No, there, it, it's there, it's one of the causes. Literally uh, just obsessed with space. Yeah, it's no, I think you're right. Ones. But I thought when he went, got and sucked out to the moon, he also did it. We're in space. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. You're right. I'm right. You're right. But wrong. anyway, guys, if you liked the episode, please like and subscribe. And also, we've started a new Oxygen Not Included series, which will be coming out this week. Oh, yes. That so, if you like the sounds of that, feel free to subscribe to get the notification and stuff like that. Yep. <laughs> but as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll be back soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.